Welcome back to This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on the Arise News Channel. Now, let's talk about the Senator's demand for the implementation of the 2014 National Conference Report. In a display of unity, the Southern Senators Forum has urged President Muhammad Buhari to convene a meeting of the leadership of the National Assembly, State Houses of Assembly and Governors. The Forum said the meeting will brainstorm on the implementation of the 2014 National Conference Report. Rising from a three-day conference in Calabar, the Cross River State Capitol, the senators from different political parties tasked President Buhari to immediately set up a platform for governors, members of the National Assembly, houses of assembly, political leaders, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders to discuss the report's implementation mechanism. The forum resolved that its members will liaise with their colleagues in the National Assembly to kickstart a legislative process that will ensure the implementation of the report. The group also urged the leadership of the National Assembly to bring up the report for consideration. Following the presentation of papers, contributions, and general brainstorming, it was resolved that Nigeria and Nigerians have come a long way. However, it is apparent that the foundation upon which Nigeria was built at independence in 1960 has since been eroded. It has become imperative and in the interest of all of us to live together as one united family under one indivisible and indissoluble country with justice, equity, and fairness. While the unity of Nigeria should not and cannot be compromised under any circumstances. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on the potential outcome of the implementation of the 2014 report. That is, if the uh, government uh, agrees to implement it. Because you will recall that uh, the Buhari administration had said at the initial stage, the moment it assumed office, that it would not even take a look at that report. At all. And there are certain persons, certain forces, certain groups, certain interest uh, uh, groups uh, who have said that, in fact, that report does not uh, represent an objective uh, position of all Nigerians. Whereas there are those in opposition who say, in fact, that that has been the most successful uh, political conference uh, ever oh, heard, yeah. at least since the return to democracy. In in 1999. Prof. Thank you. I want to commend the senators. Southern um, senators. senators, although I quarrel with the word Southern, Southern. there. The issue is that um, some people believe that the country must first of all be united before we discuss the issue of restructuring. Another school of thought has said, no, it can't be so. The basis of that national unity <coughs> is this structuring. Let us address the issues. So I'm commending the senators, not in their capacity as southern uh, senators, because the use of that southern to qualify it we in itself, it. precisely, that is disunity itself. Yeah. Uh, people talk about northern senators, uh, northern legislators, and so on and so forth. No. Already, by referring to such words, we are admitting that we are already divided. Because the reality of who we are. <laughs> Precisely. Like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the truth is that we are divided on this matter. So, now appealing to Mr. President to take a look at this, I think it is perfectly in order. Now, restructuring. Uh, many Nigerians, and most unfortunately, people who ought to know, people who should know, they misrepresent the, the, the concept all right, of a restructuring. Many people wrongly equate restructuring with dismemberment, with a disintegration. Restructuring is about reorganizing of priorities of institutions of policies, all right? For more the, effective the, delivery. Precisely. Now, those, in fact, the proponents of a restructuring are saying that, look, let us work towards having a, a fair, a true federal, uh, you know, system. system. Yeah. For instance, the, the, the Yorubas will normally tell you that, look, there is no need to have the mineral resources, the mines, on the exclusive list. Now, which means that we have to discuss. But, yeah, but uh, do you see uh, President Buhari acceding to this request? 
when he had originally made it clear that, look, he's not interested in, in that report. Uh, yeah. Because, it, you know, the issue of restructuring, the government of the day is making it look as if it's a partisan thing. What, you, what's your you, take? You know, when, when uh, the leader of a country, you know, assumes that kind of uh, position, what uh, they will refer to in advanced um, leadership studies as um, red ocean leadership, it's unfortunate because it is too rigid. It does not allow for for dynamism, for progression, you know, for sophistication even. The president come now to say from the word go that he won't even look at it as an unfortunate position to take. And uh, mm -hmm. for me, that in itself is, um, is, uh, is reductionist. Uh, however, uh, I think uh, if he's uh, desperate really <laughs> to come back and he wants another time, you know, this is the time they, they are, you know, they give in to any demands whatsoever. He probably would uh, look at it again on the strength of the fact that he wants to come back. But I'm not sure he might uh, implement it. He might, he might want to play around it. But, to... but I will look at it differently. You see, it's not an option. The for issue him, of it, it is. Or for no, the no. Well, you I mean, see... I, I think it's a debate that will never end. Uh, Nigeria uh, has been a subject of argument since 1914, you know, and since the 40s. Uh, and the thing is just that Nigerians are yet to agree and on the form, the shape, you know, that their country should take. But restructuring requires discussion of the modalities. So, and I am saying that, look, whether Mr. President wants it or not, eh, it's a must. the environment will determine the way they are going about it. This is the first time in Nigeria's political history that um, the discussion, the, the quest, for uh, restructuring has now risen to the crescendo. Well, quite the correct. Process. Well, we'll return to this subject some of the time uh, because it's a subject, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. that would never go away because it's of great interest to Nigerians. You've been watching this day live, the Sunday talk show here on Arise News. I'm Ruben Abati. From our team here in Lagos, it's bye for now and thank you very much for watching.